Hey, welcome back. Uh, I was just having a look at the lymphatic system and wanted to share with you about the lymphatic system and how we're going to be learning that. So first of all, the lymphatic system is also the immune system. So the lymphatic system in green here, by the way, uh, has two functions. First of all, it uh, drains any excess tissue fluid that is a derivative of the blood supply. That's why I've put the arteries in here, because when there's too much fluid within the arteries made up of water and plasma and all the nutrients and oxygen and red blood cells, white blood cells, etc., which is a composition of blood. It also has massive water and plasma element. When there's too much fluid within the bloodstream, what happens is that it's, it will, it will um, secrete or um, send it out of the capillaries to bathe within the body as what's called interstitial fluid or tissue fluid. And that surrounds all the cells and all the organs. But then as well as that, within, within the skin, if there's too much tissue fluid and excess tissue fluid, the lymphatic system will pick it up to drain it away. Therefore, any puffiness or swelling or edema um, will be picked up by the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system doesn't have a pump unlike the blood supply that has the heart, the lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. So it relies on our skeletal movement in such that it relies on exercise and massage and movement and um, to, to move the, the tissue fluid in the lymphatic system around the body. So it drains any excess tissue fluid, but what it also has is the capacity to engulf and destroy or create antibodies or immunity uh, for any sort of harmful pathogens, airborne or ingested or uh, contracted pathogens within the skin, the, in the intestines or within our systems. So what you can see here, I'm going to take away the arteries because the arteries just show the blood flow that runs right alongside or the lymphatic system indeed runs alongside the arterial blood flow. So if we're just going to take away the arteries there and we're left with this lymphatic system. Um, this is this is the spleen here. And something like that is the spleen. Yep, that's the spleen. Um, what we've got here is the lymphatic system and indeed you can see underneath the armpit we've got the axillary nodes. Within the neck we've got the deep cervical. We've got these post and uh, pre-auricular, we've got the submandibular here, we've got the submental. Look at all these little nodes. Look at these um, underneath these sub um, auricular, um, the orbital, the, the auricular uh, cavity, the uh, socket of the eyes. And um, here around temporalis. And there are so many beautiful little nodes. And what they do is, like I said, they engulf and destroy or uh, neutralise harmful pathogens. Here's in the inguinal nodes. And then we have these, here we have the popliteal nodes. They're not showing the nodes here. There are some behind the kneecap, just the little ones here, popliteal. Just gonna see if I can tap on one of these nodes and see if it highlights that for us. But what's the most extraordinary one let me see if i can tap on this this is called cisterna chile no that's the lumbar vertebrae no let me see if i can tap on that no that's picking up the skeletal structure here but we'll talk about this on training is that what we do have let's just take that off pubis um what 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 we do have here is um this beautiful vessel within the lymphatic system that gathers all lymph from below and the lower extremities of the body and brings it up so I'll explain much more when we do the training, how the, the journey, it's a big recycling plant, it's amazing. So it comes out of the bloodstream, bases into cystal fluid, picked up by the lymphatic system, sent through all the nodes, and then gathered within this structure here called the cisterna chile, that brings us up to the thoracic ducts. And we've got thoracic ducts either side here that pick up all the... the a cleaned and filtered lymph before it then enters back into the blood system. It's picked up by the subclavian vein here underneath the clavicle 
and then it enters into the superior vena cava and then it enters back into the heart. So I hope this isn't too sort of fast and confusing. I will take my time to, to explain it when we start our training. But this is so interesting to, to learn all about the lymphatic system and how important the lymphatic system is to our wellness and well-being and how important it is to our massage. And of course, if you choose to do manual lymphatic drainage massage, how important it is for immunity and draining excess tissue fluid and also just for, for any sort of bloating because it's everywhere. It's all within the, um, the abdominal cavities as well and the abdominal space. So it really is a fantastic system. So just a little intro to the lymphatic system, but please do join me. Um, not too late to join now. It's almost a week away. It's on uh, Wednesday, September the 25th. It's for 12 weeks. You can access it all on my website. <laughs> I love this. Oh, hello. There we go. So yeah, come and access my training. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And um, like I said, I've got 3D imaging. Plus myself, I will be talking to camera a lot. And uh, I really look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. All the information, by the way, is on my website. And I uh, look forward to seeing you.